Okay, so you want to be hardworking. You've already established that. Okay, so when you are working on something, and I'll give you this YouTube channel as an example. When I am recording videos and I've recorded one video and I'm thinking, you know what, I'm going to record two, three, four videos today just to get a bit ahead, right? I've got some time free and I just want to focus and record videos. When I'm like in that mindset and then I start feeling like a bit like, you know, I can't be asked doing this. You know, when you get that like limiting belief voice in your head that says, why don't we just go to the gym instead? Or why don't we just go and uh, chill outside in the sun and get a tan? Why don't we just go make some food first and make a drink first or something, right? You'll have all these little voices in your head telling you that you should be doing something else other than what you've set out to do for yourself, right? When you get that voice in your head that's telling you or trying to convince you to do something else other than the thing that you set out to do, understand this is your brain basically telling you that this is hard work and when you have that kind of feeling of you can't be asked doing it like i really don't want to work right now that is hard work so you've identified that this is now difficult work when you have to just press record and i have to just record a video even when i really don't want to that's hard work. Like you need to understand that whatever it is that you're working on, whether it's the gym or whether it's like, yeah, a YouTube channel or a business, it's gonna be hard and you're gonna have moments where you really don't wanna work on it. It's not always gonna be sunshine and rainbows. You just fucking wake up in the morning and you just crack on with it and it's easy and you just become successful. No, it's hard. You're gonna have your brain telling you that you should do something else. You're gonna be wanting to give up. You're gonna wanna stop recording. You wanna go do something else, right? When you get that voice in your head, that's hard work and you want to be a hard working person. So when you get that voice in your head and you kind of want to do something else and you kind of don't want to do this right now, that's a great thing, right? Reward yourself for that. Say, fantastic, I'm doing hard work. Let's keep going. That's the signal to you to be like, fucking great. I'm so glad that I've got this voice in my head now saying I can't be bothered doing this because it means that when I actually do it, I've just done some hard work. Okay, so that's the first thing that's helped me. Whenever I've had that when I'm recording videos and I just kind of don't want to do it anymore, I'm scripting videos and then I go to record them. I'm like, eh, let's just do this tomorrow. That's the hard work. And that's when I'm like, you know what? If I do this now, I've just done some harder work than a hundred other people who wanted to make videos today and become YouTubers. And I might just be one little step ahead of them now. So you can always keep that in your head. Always keep that framing in your head of it's good to feel like, you know, this is hard. It's good to feel like you want to give up because when you don't, that's when you've just gone ahead of the competition who all gave up. And that's the second piece of advice I'm going to give you is to do more hard work and to actually enjoy doing hard work. You need to understand that you're actually getting ahead of people, right? If you're just doing hard work just for like yourself and just so like you can do it to make yourself proud, then you're going to very easily fall into the trap of just not doing it, right? Because you can kind of easily give up on yourself. You can easily make a promise to yourself and then not keep to that promise because it's only you that's going to blame yourself for it, which isn't a good thing. But hey, look, if you can have it so that the competition is going to go ahead of you, like you're, the people that I'm competing against on YouTube, right? The other small little self-improvement YouTubers, if I don't make a video today or if I give up or if I don't do the hard work, then they might do the hard work and then they might get ahead of me. Like there might be a sub potential subscriber who sees their videos instead of mine and then goes to them and then goes and buys their course and goes and stays with them for five years. And then like, I've just lost out, right? If you can keep that kind of competitive mindset. That's going to make you love doing hard work because competition actually breeds success. Competition drives you, right? Who are you competing against? Just ask yourself that with whatever it is, right? Let's put this in a gym context. Just take it out of the YouTube scene for a second, right? The gym, right? When I'm at the gym and I can't be bothered doing it because I had a few drinks on the weekend and I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should save this for tomorrow or whatever. That's when you can think, hang on a minute. There's a dude out there who might live near me who had gone to the gym today, who's just gone that little one step extra ahead of me. And he's now more competitive than me. And next time I'm out on a night out and there's a fit girl, she might be giving him attention and not me because he's like not because he did that one extra workout but because that effect compounds right if you're constantly the guy who goes to the gym and you kind of just say oh i'll do this tomorrow or you don't really push too hard you kind of just go do a fluff workout you know if you're one of these dudes who's doing that there might be another dude out there who's doing way harder workouts than you he's trying super hard he's been super strict with his diet he's got a six pack he's bigger than you and he's been doing this like you know more consistently he's training more intense this is the guy you're up against 
and then he's actually going to go out there and he could potentially speak to a girl who you might have spoken to if you had the same level of physique and that's quite an extreme example and it might not even be the case it might not even be true but if you can keep that competitive mindset in your head it's going to actually make you enjoy doing the hard work right because when you're doing the hard work and you're going through it and you're thinking this is fucking shit i don't like this you can just keep that in your head, right? You're ahead of the competition. You're staying competitive. And the last thing I'm going to give you is more of a sciencey thing that's helped me whenever I'm doing hard work and it's helped me to kind of enjoy doing hard work or like the little bit extra of hard work. Only person I've ever heard talk about this is Andrew Huberman on his podcast. And this is about an area of the brain called the anterior mid-cingulate cortex or the AMC for sure. And it's a very small part of your brain. And basically this part of your brain only lights up and activates when you do hard work that you really fucking didn't want to do. So let's say I am going to record three videos right now. Okay. I've recorded two more videos before this. This is the third video. Okay. So that's what I've set out to do and I'll do it right. I've nearly finished this video recording it. Okay. So I'm talking about the anterior mid cingulate cortex. Mine actually isn't lit up right now. Even though I'm doing hard work, it's like, eh, whatever, it's hard work. It's not that difficult. If I've said I'm gonna record three videos and then I've finished now and I'm just like, cool, done. Let's just edit them, get them up, go downstairs, chill out, right? If I think, hmm, hang on, let's do one more video just to get that little bit ahead. I'm not said I'm gonna do it, but let's just do that one little, one little bit extra. My brain's not expecting that to happen. And my brain's gonna be like, whoa, but we did the three videos that you said that you needed to do. You don't need to do a fourth one. If I go, no, 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 anyway, I'm just gonna do a fourth one, get that little bit ahead, put that little bit of extra work in. That's when the anterior mid cingulate cortex is gonna light up. And the more times that you can do that little bit extra when you kind of were done, but you kind of just thought, you know, I'll do a little bit extra. Or at the gym, you know, you do three sets of bench press and like, cool, I'm done now. And you think, actually, let's just quickly do a drop set where I'm gonna lower the weight and do another a uh, few reps, that's when your anterior mid cingulate cortex is going to light up. And the bigger that that is, the more capacity you're going to have to do hard work, the more capable you're going to be of going that extra mile, going that one step ahead of the competition and trying a little bit harder. So you can think about when you're doing hard work or especially when you really don't want to do hard work or you've already done some work and you're going to do a little bit more than you've said you're going to do. That is training your AMC, right? You're literally not only working hard, but you're literally training your brain to be capable of doing harder work. Like that is such a powerful thing to have, like to know about. Like once I found out about this, I was like, holy shit, okay. So I can do a little bit extra than I've said I'm gonna do and literally train my brain and get that area of my brain a little bit bigger to actually help me like blast past my competition of people who just sort of do the bare minimum, right? If you're right now just, just doing the bare minimum of what you think you need to do, but you can actually just go one step ahead, that is where you are really gonna make some serious gains in front of your competition. And yeah, I just think knowing about this area of the brain, like actually being aware that you're training an area of your brain, almost like it was a muscle, that's just been super powerful for me to just like have awareness of. Anyway, bro, thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully that was informative to you and you got some value out of it. Thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah, keep improving yourself every day and I'll see you in the next one.